Hello. Welcome back to Rocky Mountain RV in beautiful Butte, Montana. My name is Barry Waddell and today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at three bighorns. First I'm going to be showing you the 3855. Then we'll take a look at the 3010RE. Last but not least is going to be the 3610RE. All three of these again are bighorns. You're here at Rocky Mountain RV in Butte, Montana. And again, your tour guide today is going to be Barry Waddell, and we can be reached at 1-800-822-1114, or check us out on the web at www.rockymtnrv.com. The tour on the 3855 is going to begin with the six-point auto leveling system. Now this is going to level the trailer with a push of a button in a matter of seconds. And many of my customers have the question of how this operates at below freezing temperatures. With us being from Butte, Montana, today we're about noon and we're setting right at about 9 degrees. So this as you know is quite a bit below freezing. And with the ice on the ground, we're going to show you just how well these work even at that temperature. Now let's take a closer look and I'll show you just how these operate. Now the main operation couldn't be simpler. With a simple push of a button here, once the screen is lit up, push this button. The unit must first, if it is level, will drop slightly out of level and then it's going to start leveling itself. As it levels, it will display on the screen what it's doing, and it'll show with the lights what side it's leveling. Now all the other buttons on that leveling main board are for overrides. And as you see here, it pretty much levels one leg at a time. we're at 9 degrees. Well, I wasn't counting, but it's almost completely leveled right now. Once all the legs have taken up weight, it will do its final leveling on all the little legs, and then you'll have that beep to indicate that it is done. Now that's it. Now we'll continue with the tour. Alright, now we'll take a look at the rest of the 3855 FL Bighorn at Rocky Mountain RV. This unit will have dual propane, 30 pound tanks. There's going to be one on each side. Outside speakers. Stereo here. Central vac. Emptying station there. The underbelly is heated. Completely finished, rubber diamond plate floor with three tie downs. 12 gallon water heater, electric awning, motion detector light, strut assist entry door, four entry steps. Assist handle for entry, nice aluminum wheels, the slides, 
are laminated on the underside. Nice sealed bulb seal here, flashing seal here, another flashing seal on the inside. Now when the slides are closed, you'll have 400 pounds of static pressure keeping the water and dust out of your coach. A look at the new designed fiber class, it's one piece rear end. Little extra storage here. This is a five slide unit. Strut assist, baggage doors. These baggage doors are one inch thick and are insulated. Winterization bypass there. Shower port, and it's lighted for convenience so you can access everything at night. Now let's take a look inside the 3855. All right. As we step inside the 3855, we're going to be inside the kitchen here. Now the kitchen, as you see, has plenty of storage. The drawers are all going to be full extend, solid wood construction, roller bearing glides, rated up to 50 pounds per drawer. Nice quiet drawers. Oven stove. Microwave. Plenty of lighting. The doors on the cabinets. Hidden hinges instead of the surface mount hinges. side-by-side -side refrigerator and freezer right here is going to be all your switches here for your convenience switch right here is for your Yeti package when that red light is on that is going to Keep you nice and toasty, even in the cold winter days. The Yeti package gives you R38 insulation on the front and the back of the coach. Insulated and heat tape on your fresh water lines and heated storage tanks. This heater here, of course, does put off heat, not just a pitcher, 55 inch flat panel TV and again plenty of lighting. The other thing that's very nice about this coach which is odd that not all coaches have them but switches everywhere. If you look at the competition you will see a huge lack of switches competition you actually have to reach up at the light source to turn the lights on and off. We do have a few of those here but one or two is acceptable all of them is problematic. We have two folding chairs stowed away in the closet a solid surface countertop in the bathroom as well. Fiberglass single piece shower surround. Stainless steel wand. Pour 
box on foot flush toilet. Washer dryer hookup. Or it can be used as a closet as well. Now in the bedroom, you'll have a six drawer dresser on the bottom. And again, full extend drawers. Dual closets. Thirty-two inch TV in the bedroom. So dual TV, dual air conditioning. Get the night shades in the bedroom. Beautiful woodworking. Now that is a quick look at the 3855 here at Rocky Mountain RV in Butte, Montana. My name is Barry Waddell. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call at 1-800-822-1114 or check us out on the web at www.rockymtnrv.com I appreciate you guys taking the time to view this and like I said, if you have any questions, just give me a call. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye now.